Space exploration is advancing rapidly. Within the last century, we have launched the first rocket, sent a man to the moon, and explored distant planets, though these soaring advancements come with some moments of confusion, be it from an odd photograph, an unexpected discovery, or a strange occurrence. NASA is the forefront of astronomical developments in 2020, and have stumbled across plenty of these setbacks, humorous happenings, and peculiar moments all marking key events in our journey to understand and explore the universe. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at some of NASA's discoveries and photographs. Photobombing Frog NASA Laddie Spacecraft On September 7th, 2013, a rather strange happening took place with the launch of the Lunar Atmosphere Dust Environment Explorer, also known as LADI spacecraft. The innovative new technology was sent out on a journey to investigate the atmosphere of the Moon, taken there by the Minotaur 5 rocket. The launch, taking place from Virginia's Wallops Flight Facility, was of course photographed. The event holds a notable place in scientific history, after all. Though, alongside NASA's usual stunning photos, a rather odd image came out of it. A small frog got roped into a quite spectacular event, as the launch flung the poor creature sky high, earning him a spot into the photographs of the laddie heading to the moon. The rocket launch was captured via remote cameras, set off by the motion and noise of Minotaur 5, the rocket carrying laddie. These remote cameras took the image, so it took keen eyes to spot the frog in the photographs of the launch. His iconic presence in this photobombed picture has given many a laugh, but this also means there are plenty of skeptics claiming Photoshop came into play. NASA shut down these claims and have confirmed the photograph was real and untampered with, stating, The photo team confirms the frog is real and was captured in a single frame by one of the remote cameras used to photograph the launch. This frog isn't the first galactic hitchhiker. A small free-tailed bat clung to the side of a spaceship's external tank in 2009 and was also caught in the photos and videos of the day. The question left on many people's minds was, is the frog okay? The short answer is that we don't know, but he certainly made fame and left a smile on plenty of people's faces across the globe. However, this astronaut frog made NASA history with his photobombing skills. Jupiter's Auroras Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, fifth from the Sun and one of four other planets in our solar system to have auroras similar to Earth. The auroras are displays of light caused by the Sun's energy and how it then interacts with the planet's magnetic field. This results in a glow at the magnetic poles. On Earth, this is most famously the Northern Lights. Jupiter's auroras, however, are a little different if recent findings are to be believed. Spacecraft Juno, sent to Jupiter to provide updates and new information on the gas giant, has recorded information on electrons that were sent into Jupiter's atmosphere at a staggering 400,000 volts. Some people believe that this excessive electron activity and therefore the incredibly high voltage is what gives Jupiter's auroras their much more vivid, distinctive glows. Though others say that the rare occasions that the electronic activity is this high is not enough to ensure these prolonged glows of the auroras. Juno was able to tell astronomers that the high voltages are caused by the rapid rotation of the planet. The speedy rotations means that the planet replicates the effect of an electric generator on a much larger scale. This allows the electrons to fire these high voltages, resulting in the stunning red, green and blue glows that come from the planet's poles. The interaction between the Sun's rays, electrons and Jupiter's atmosphere is something that we have never been able to observe prior to sending Juno off out into the solar system. Another key discovery that Juno alerted us to is that Jupiter's auroras seem to be formed from particles coming not only from its poles, but from Io, one of Jupiter's 79 known moons. The particles are pushed into Jupiter's magnetic field by Io, come from the volcanoes, which emit large quantities of sulfur 
and oxygen. Whilst it is true that NASA has successfully sent many spacecrafts up into orbit before, Juno is a little different. Juno is the first ever spacecraft that has flown directly above both of Jupiter's poles. The route, journey and information of Juno is entirely unique, travelling in an oval, elliptical orbit around Jupiter's north and south pole. This means the findings Juno is sending back to us about these particles is brand new. Juno is estimated to pass close by to the poles every 53 days, meaning it is travelling at 30 miles each second. This means Juno has mere seconds to capture all these measurements, and it does so using the Juno Energetic Particle Detector Instrument, also known as JEDI. Barry Mork, scientist at the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, was the leading researcher behind the JEDI technology, who explained what a feat this technology was, stating, We're very proud of the fact that we were able to pull that off. The confusion begins to arise when Juno did not send back consistent results. Astronomers anticipated consistent high voltages, though Juno has showed that this surge in electron activity is not always present. The firing of electrons appears to be random, with no rhyme or reason behind the different energies and bright auroras. Jupiter's auroras have been named a mystery for this very reason. Jonathan Nichols, a professor from the University of Leicester in the Department of Physics and Astronomy, explains that the uncertainty here is something Juno will aim to clear up in the future. But for now, he is not quite sure how you drive auroras so bright with that particular mechanism. For now, Juno will continue to pass by the poles, and hopefully, as more data is gathered, we will be able to make more sense of the information at hand. If we can figure out exactly what is happening to Jupiter, we hope to be able to apply this to many of the processes to other celestial bodies, such as white dwarfs, exoplanets and pulsars. At the moment, however, Jupiter's auroras and their fluctuating voltages remain unsolved. Mystery Hole in the ISS The International Space Station orbits 408 kilometers away from Earth, and has done since 1998. So it caused a great deal of panic and confusion when a hole suddenly appeared in the ISS, seemingly out of nowhere, in late 2018. A 2 mm hole appeared in the International Space Station, found in the orbital compartment of the Soyuz spacecraft. The space station had samples taken to investigate what was behind this odd and troubling occurrence. Whilst the International Space Station is a point of unity following the space race throughout the Cold War, the largest international collaboration, blame was quickly assigned and rifts created following the discovery of this hole. Russian space agency Roscosmos were quick to blame America's NASA astronauts who were on board the ISS at the time of discovery suggesting that the crew members may have wanted to come home early, having felt more homesick than they had anticipated. NASA, as you may imagine, told a very different story. NASA's account suggested that the hole was a manufacturing error, a result of a poor repair job or inadequate assembly. They suggested that it may have seemingly been in good shape before setting off, but a sealant could have been damaged or begun to degrade once in space. Investigations took place to rule out general space wear and tear, including the possibility of a micrometeoroid strike, a shower of tiny particles that may have caused damage, and instead confirming that the hole was created on the inside of the spacecraft and was more likely a man-made hole. One rebuttal to Roscosmos' claim was that the enclosed nature of the International Space Station means that any drilling would have undoubtedly been heard by other crew members. Furthermore, every individual on the ISS is a renowned expert, who is well aware of what an honour it is to be part of the select few people to ever be aboard, and so it is unlikely for them to cause intentional damage. The main concern many people have held is why the two space agencies are engaged in a head-to-head -head blame game as opposed to addressing why the safety of these crew members was put at risk. In reality, the hole caused a slow drop in cabin air pressure, but nobody was facing imminent danger. However, faulty equipment being employed without question 
raises a whole new host of issues that haven't been tackled, with many questioning the prioritization of safety within both NASA and Roscosmos. Mission Commander Alexander Gerst explained that the hole was evident and covered by a little glue, making it clear that the hole had been man-made. Whilst this event truly has been unnerving, we may never truly get to the bottom as to the cause of the hole in the ISS in 2018. But we sure hope mistakes don't slip through, whether that be tampering with the equipment or manufacturing errors. NASA, alongside other space teams, are on the cusp of exciting research and discoveries. With the odd confusion, mishap and humour, they're on the forefront of new scientific breakthroughs. But what do you make of these interesting NASA discoveries and photographs? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.